Hey guys, and welcome to another Let's Play. This is one of my most fondly remembered original Xbox titles, actually. Um, came from a very prestigious studio, Pandemic, which of course EA shut down quite a few years ago now. They made Mercenaries, this one, and they made Mercenaries 2, which was really good, and I freaking loved them. Sadly, they did get shut down. Uh, these were quite popular games as well back in the day. I remember pretty much everybody played this one. And uh, the original Xbox version was the best version. Had uh, better graphics and really good frame rate. Not that you could probably tell the graphics uh, these days, but hey. Um, very excited to see this compatible with the Xbox One X. I am going to enjoy this one, I think. It's been... Well, I haven't played this since the year it came out. Uh, or maybe the year after it came out, because I played this a lot. Which has got to be 10 years at least now. So, we're dipping back into the original Xbox library. Does this game still hold up? Let's find out. So, you are a mercenary. You have to kick an evil regime out of a particular area that we're going to. All the story will be filled in as we play. Um, and it plays a hell of a lot like Grand Theft Auto, except in a battle zone, a uh, battlefield, a giant war. Yes, that thing. It was a very interesting concept at the time, and it worked. It worked really well. And uh, yeah, in the sequel, they went crazy with it, uh, which I love. So anyway, I can't remember the controls, can't remember anything. I did test this when I got my Xbox One X, oh, I don't know, a year odd ago. But uh, let's hit up new game. <clears throat> so we can choose three mercenaries. Uh, we have Jacobs. Name Chris Jacobs, nationality American. 35 years with Exops. Notes, the son of a US Army Colonel and Korean interpreter, Jacobs joined Exops after serving for seven years in the US Army's combat application group. Jacobs' physical training allows him to withstand bullet wounds and shrapnel that would incapacitate and other operatives. Yeah, so basically this guy is tougher than uh, everybody else. And then you have Jennifer Moo. She's British. She's been with the outfit... Uh, seven years. Mu draws on her MI6 training to go undetected in hostile environments. This combined with her intense covert combat experience and abilities make her highly qualified in North Korean theatre. She is really good because she can disguise herself this uh, quicker than the other characters. That is a very important thing um, from what I can remember that we will explain a little bit later on. And then we have Matthias Nilsson. And uh, Nilsson is unproven ex off agent, but his record uh, scores the physical proportion of the. I don't know what he's good at. Physical agility. So is he quicker? Doesn't seem that much. That doesn't seem very useful. But we're going to go with Jennifer because she is very, very useful. Um. Those naughty North Koreans. What have they been up to this time? Executive Operations Situation Room. Could we have the lights off, please? Lights off, please. Thank you. All right, Fiona, what have you got for us? Thanks. Okay, well, today the board is voting on the Sung Initiative. This is an unparalleled financial opportunity for XOPS, but it's high risk. North Korea is a quagmire. The Allies are stuck in it, and it's all because of this man here. Yes, we've been discussing this. Couldn't this force us into a, I don't know, a moral position? I mean, the guy's evil. He capped his own father after the coup. The media are all over it. 
Anyone operating in this theater is going to be famous. Maybe, but we're proposing sending in a single operative. Low profile. And remember, North Korea is in total chaos. There's press on the ground, sure. But our agent could level half the country and no one would have any idea we were there. Mm -hmm. There's more. Apart from the hundred million for Sung, there's a significant bounty for every member of the deck of 52, especially if they're taken alive. Uh, does that say businessmen? Well, counterfeiting, slave trading, if you call that business, these guys are businessmen. To sum up, we insert a single agent to go after the bounties. We can do something the Allies can't. Work directly with factions on the ground to gather hard intel on the deck of 52. Oh, come on, Fiona. The AN have never been shy about... Dealing with the Russian Mafia? Not with GSRN reporters everywhere. Listen, by working with the factions, we can take Sung's power base apart from the bottom up. Sung's gone into hiding, but if anyone knows where he is... It's his lieutenants. Got it, got it. Fiona, you make a compelling case. I think I know which way the board will go, but I have one more question. We're basically relying on a single agent here. Do you have someone in mind? Yes, I do. I believe I have the perfect candidate. Mm-hmm. Right. So this is a bit of a blurb for our character, but the one X loads the game so quick you can't read it. Now, believe it or not, this actually looks amazing on the one X. <laughs> I'm not actually joking. If you play this on a original Xbox now, oof. on the line. Wouldn't have made it through Iraq without you. Bet you say that to all your support operatives. Mm. And the ones who saved my ass. Just doing my job. Oh dear. Close. You might want to get your gear together for the drop. Yeah, so uh, the dialogue is a little cringe, but I guess that's to be expected. Have you checked out your new PDA yet? Of course. Transreflective screen, high res image, fast upload. Don't worry, there's not going to be a test. Not true. Testing it plenty on the field. Yeah, wow. That thing would have probably been pretty impressive back in 2001. Ooh, almost 67. Standard issue frag grenades. Reduces casualties within 15 meters. Lethal under fire. Definitely up to my standards. Oh, we got our nades. We got a PDA. What else have you got? Can't uh, help noticing that juicy Humvee there as well. And we have a carbine. Sense to overheat. Other than that, a fine weapon. Well, it's better than nothing. Well, alrighty. Alright, let me in, let me in, let me in. Oh, hang on. We gotta flip the old switch first. Oh, that's one hell of a switch. Jesus. And down there is a playground of destruction. Let's go. <laughs> Nicely done. Here we are, ready to make our mark on this this unforgiving. Your primary objective is to get to the Allied HQ. Colonel Garrett is waiting. Yeah, Colonel Garrett. All right, we'll go link up with him. The controls are definitely non-standard by today's um, standard. They are very strange, and they're going to take me some getting used to. I think. Yeah, A and. Like, A's accelerate, X is break. Like, I think Y gets out. Yeah. What else have we got here? Okay, now remember, the Xbox had didn't have shoulder buttons either. It had the black and white buttons. So, ooh, very strange system. Very strange control pad. Now, the driving and the vehicle mechanics in this, 
actually still feel really good. Really good. And it's such a clean, sh razor sharp picture on the axe. It's very impressive stuff. Right, let's go fuck some guys up. Let's go meet our general. Yes, they blocked the road with some wreckage. Hey, guys. Oh, God. Okay, bit more twitchy than I remember. All right, let's go to work, gent. Yes, run you bastards! Oof. The destruction and explosive uh, damage you can cause in this game was crazy at the time. Whoa! You get money for everything? Oh, bloody hell, it's all exploding. Yeah, you literally get money for, like, killing anybody, apart from civilians. Um, pretty much blowing everything up as well. So, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. You don't have to worry about grenades and ammo and stuff like that because that shit's kind of everywhere. You can operate the turrets from the back of vehicles. Turrets do not have unlimited ammo in this game, however. So, bear that in mind. Okay. So, let's go. At the moment, we're in an allied vehicle. So, if there we go. We're now disguised as an ally because nobody saw us get in here. Apart from that gentleman over there. Let's cap his ass. Yeah. There we go. No watching, buddy. And now, Jennifer can disguise herself, uh, herself really quickly. The other characters, not so much. Now, the advantage of being disguised is you can pretend to be the Russians, the Allies, the North Koreans. Like, if we jump into the North Korean vehicle, we can disguise ourselves as North Korean. There we go. Are there any downsides to this? Well, yes. Yes, there is. If we're disguised as allies, or the Americans, all the enemies of the Americans will shoot at us, and vice versa. Whoa. Yeah, let's give these guys a hand, shall we? Alright, let's go to work. Get a nade in that. Hey, we got it. We got it, we got it. What's that? Someone shelling the area? Get in, boys. Now... Yep, so you can push the horn to get some allies to come join us. Get in, boys. It's the mercenary. Yes, it is. And she's here to save your ass, boy. Alright. Oh, God. That was not good. So... When your guys are on the gun, they're not actually too bad from what I remember, but they can be killed. Well, I say they're not too bad. I possibly stand corrected there. Alright, let's go up the hill. I think we've got our first member of... No, we do not have our first member of the deck of 52 up here. Oof. Oof. No running, kids. Oh, God damn it! Oh, shit. <laughs> Well, all that money we generated, we've just lost. Ah, well. Easy come, easy go. Um, okay, let's go find the general. The yeah, let's go see Garrett. Would have been better if he was called Barrett. Look at all these supplies here. Pretty much everything you see as well can be destroyed. It's really impressive. Uh, at least for the time, anyway. Back when anything was possible in games and they, you know, tried to put a little bit of effort in. Right, let's go see this chap. Catch the two of clubs yet? The two of no. How did you know that Shit Ho Young was commanding that artillery? Exops does a good job briefing their agents, sir. You said you didn't want to hear authorization or approval. Well, all right, we'll give it a shot. Stop that artillery, verify the two of clubs, and maybe we can do business together. Major Howard here will give you some intel. Oh, and one last thing. Don't you ever ever trust me again. <laughs> Well, bad dudes, buddy. Now, in every one of these places, I think there's, like, stuff you can fiddle with. I don't know why there's an excise bike there. It doesn't really make a lot of sense, but hey. Um, <clears throat> we're not on trial here. At least I'm sure there's something we can fiddle with. 
Uh, we're gonna accept the contract. I'm sure we can like drink coffee here. Maybe, maybe once the shelling stopped, you know. So this is the first of the four factions. The Americans. All right, come on, boys. Let's go on an adventure. Damn it. I forgot the right trigger does get you out. So, um, how do we get the, right, that swaps your grenades over. Right, so this is your PDA, of course, that makes sense, apart from the fact it doesn't. These are, oh, we don't have information on the deck of 52 yet. Um, this is just like loads of rubbish. I will pause it here if you want to read it or you guys can pause it here it's just crap really it's not important um that's our map uh it is deceptively big from what i can remember but we do unlock some more features later on with the uh, pda it gets a little bit more expansive all right let's back this bass up come on there we go. Beautiful. Oh, actually, we get a fresh one there. Might as well spend the Americans' money. We've got shells coming in. Come on, boys. Now, there are 52 guys that we need to capture. And if we kill them, we get half the money. So you, it's definitely worth, if you can, trying to get them all alive. I never used to like getting them alive. I like... Killing them. Who put that fucking pothole there? Definitely prefer killing these guys. Oh, look. I like the way these guys are just staring each other down. Uh, yeah, don't worry, boys. we do the work. Come on, sir. There we go. Yeah, and for being seen killing a faction enemy, um, you will raise or lower your respect with that faction. So, it's all good. Yeah, we're going to go get him. Don't worry. He is over that side, I believe. So, let's... Yeah. Yeah. We don't want to finish this mission yet. Because otherwise, he will get a little bit harder to deal with. Yeah. Yep, we're going. We're going, Fiona. Jesus. I don't mind me guys, just coming through. Really, you're this close to the base and they didn't do anything? Authorization, my ass. Just gonna let... Yeah, those shells keep dropping on you. Alright. So, if we go into here now. Here's your chance to prove yourself, Burke. Verify the two of clubs, then destroy his artillery. That should cheer Colonel Garrett right up. When we ask you to verify a card, we mean we need proof that you've that they've been captured or killed. If you take them alive, we'll approve an extraction helicopter to pick up the captive. Otherwise, just take a digital photo of the victim. Exop will transmit the photo over to us. You get paid either way, but a kill is worth only half bounty, okay? Dead folks is bad TV. We need them alive, got it? Yeah, getting some of them alive is not easy. There he is. Right, you're coming with me, you bastard. Now, you can run up to him and bash him in the face and subdue him that way. But there is an easier way. If you have the means. So, we have normal grenades. And we have stun grenades. Very important. And just run. Yeah, come on. Come on. No. Oh, yes. And then run up. Push Y. And we lock him down. Now, just because he is unconscious on the floor does not mean that he can't die. He can die. <laughs> no, he's not. Right. So, come here, you. Drag this big sack of shit out of it. Yeah, this big money bag. Yes, come on, money bag. Let's go. Let's drop your ass down here. And cool for an extraction chopper. Again. Um, we need to throw a smoke grenade and that will call in our extraction. Now, 
Don't feel too comfortable, because that helicopter can, and probably at some point, will get shot down. Look at how the smoke deforms. I always thought this was quite impressive. Is it not deform? Oh, that was a bad... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was kind of a bad uh, example. But the smoke does waft and blow around from the helicopter blades, which is really impressive. So, yes, even when extracting, you need to make sure the area is clear, because he can die <laughs> by getting shot down. down Alright. Now we just got to deal with his artillery. <coughs> nice, 25k. Actually have some money now. Yeah. Now these. Hey, we got a surgical strike. Not bad. And we can pick up an RPG. Definitely want the RPG. Always want to try and make sure you have an RPG on your hands. Yeah, we know how to access the support menu. Stop bothering me, game. And I want the light machine gun instead of that. There we go. Good to go. Nice. Um, so, we have been given three surgical strikes. That's why there's three dots next to the, uh, well, under the name. Uh, from the Allies, to use for free. We can use more, but it will cost us money. So, let's call call in a surgical strike. There's one. And even though we're using our surgical strike, we're getting money for this. Just got to wait for the missile to reload. Now, there is a lot of toys to play with in this game. A lot of toys to play in this game. Boom. Alright, not bad. Now, also, like Grand Theft Auto, there are hidden packages and things to find. And you do pick up generic packs of ammo. So those brown uh, ammo canisters. They uh, will restock any ammo for any weapon that you have, apart from the rocket launcher, I believe, or the RPG. You do need to pick up RPGs for that. Okay, so let's get in. I don't know why you're there, buddy. Everybody in. Looks like I'm taking you boys back alive. Yeah, quite. So, not bad. We have introduced ourselves to the Americans. I mean, technically these guys are the allies, but... Oof. Yes! He's dead. He's definitely dead. No running, kids. No running. This vehicle's a little bit beaten up, but that's fine. Oh, look. Ammo and health kits. Now, you can die in this game very, very quickly. It looks like you might have a lot of health, but you don't. Not when you start getting the big weapons and, and tanks and all sorts of juiciness later on. I don't actually think it takes that long to start getting all the big toys either. Mm. Yeah. Yep, we pulled their ass out of the fire big time here. Ooh. Okay. Go talk to the guard again. All right, it's been fine working with you boys. Let's go see Mr. Garrett. And we took him alive as well, which makes everybody that little bit happier, especially my bank manager. As long as the pay is good, I'm perfectly willing to jump in. Okay. I'm Colonel Samuel Garrett, Commander of Allied Forces in Europe. This is Major Stephen Holler. I know you're here for the death of 52. Now, most of them are open bounties, but the aces? Well, you need special clearance from us to go after them. You bring me enough intel, I'll get you that clearance. Makes sense. Speaking of which, I want to talk to the man leading... Sorry, advising South Korean forces in Europe. Got any men? 
called you. Knows more about what's going on around here than you. Knows more than yourself. Probably already knows where Song is. <laughs> Get out. I got work to do. Come on. Fair enough. Well, we've introduced ourselves to these guys. Look, 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 look. I'm going, alright? I'm just having a little look around the office. What are these guys doing here? Doing f fuck all. Oh, one second, guys. That is the door. And we're back. Sorry about that, guys. That's the Mrs. New Hot Water Bottle has just arrived. Okay, cool. I'm going Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, so I think we have to manually save the game. I think. I don't think we can save it otherwise. Right, so see this? This has like uh, a dollar sign on it. So if we jump in, there will be a challenge involved. I think. Okay, so it's not actually this one. It's probably like one right next door. Ah, it's this one. That's it. So these can be a good way of getting some good money. So can you get to the South Korean HQ before the time expires? We've got two minutes. Uh, rule is remain in the vehicle and we get five grand. So we can cheese these. Basically, you get tons and tons of time to do this. So... A good way to make a bit of extra cash is to intentionally go fairly slow um, because you can then rerun it. But, you know, five grand in this game really ain't much, so I don't really care. I doubt I'm going to be doing too many of these anyway. Maybe we'll try each one as we uncover them, maybe, but there's no real way to keep track of that sort of stuff anyway. We'll check our emails when we get to the, to the base. So as you can see, this is kind of like a brown, shitty map. It's, um, yes, very uninspired colouring. But hey, we're in a, you know, battle zone, so what do you expect, I guess? I think there are some more interesting vestas later on. Right, so that's where we need to go. If you push um, accelerate and brake together, you can do a wheel spin and get a nice little boost of speed. Uh, but if you do it too long, you can burst your tires. So, yeah. Anyway, that'd do. So, we got five Gs in the bank. Nice. We've already got 70 grand, and we've basically done fuck all. I guess this is a really good way of... Ooh! God. Really good way of making money. So, let's read our file on this gentleman. Lay of the land. Okay, let's get going. We're going to find the deck 52. We're going to have to get in the good, in good with the local power brokers. Buford seems like a good lead. Let's pay him a visit. Agent Michael Buford helps the South Koreans run their side of this conflict. He'll have lots of work for you, and I'll probably trade information. And he'll probably trade information for the location of the deck 52. Don't be surprised if everybody else acts like his assistant. Major Park is running the show over there. Buford involvement isn't publicly known. Okay, so we still don't have any information on the deck of 52, but let's go meet our friend. Agreed. Stem the tide. Now, one thing that's quite interesting here, I think all of your agents that you can choose in the beginning can understand a different language. I think. Or it might be if you if we picked the Swedish chap, he can understand Korean. I'm not sure. Oh, hello. Park's troops get the McVeigh, but 
but Song is stepping up his offensive, and I don't want to lose to Song this early in the game. So if you're up to it, I'm going to pay you to be Park's reinforcer. Okay. An army of one. Hmm. If you're interested, Major Park's here to give you all the details. Sounds reasonable. I think we can do that. Look at these flags he's got here. American flag, Korean flag. Don't tread on me. <laughs> I love it. Right, anyway, guys, uh, before we do that mission, we're going to go save it because we are out of time. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. I know I have. When we return, we're going to hold the enemy back and keep this uh, village or city, as we've been so interestingly informed. It looks like a little village to me, but okay. Um, out of the enemy hands. So, till then guys, thanks for watching.